welcome back to the SCSP community channel. Today we're going to be looking at another tool in the Kali tool series and the tool that we're going to be looking at uh, comes pre-installed in Kali and it's called Q. So C-E-W-L. Now basically what this tool does is uh, a, you give it a website or any URL right and it generates word list by crawling that website. So, for example, if you want to do a password brute forcing on some login page and this login page happens to be on some website, so what you can do is use this tool to actually create a word list off of that website by crawling that website. So, this tool is pretty handy. And so, let's go ahead and try it out. So, if you type in kill-h, it's a bunch of uh, flags. So we're going to do just a basic um, scan or crawling, if I might say crawling, that's more appropriate over here. So Q and we're going to go ahead and write in the, let's see, user engine uh, OM minimum word length. So I'll give it a minimum word length of four. Now remember that if you're going to put the minimum word length to the lesser is going to be is what I'm trying to say the lesser your word length is going to be the bigger your word list is going to be so I'll just go ahead and give it uh, a four right and I'll write my output to a word list dot txt and then I can go ahead and paste my vulnerable URL Right, so we're just going to be crawling this uh, this website, which is vulnerable by design, actually. So you can go ahead and practice on this as well. This is a nice website. It's a PHP-based uh, web application, and this is for your practice. If you want to practice a lot of different vulnerabilities and exploits, you can come over here. So let's go ahead and try it out. Uh, let's press enter. So a bunch of warnings, which you can just ignore and let's just wait for this to finish yep it seems like it's done so there it is our word list and if you go ahead cat it and there are words so minimum length of four and you can see there are probably about you know, a whole bunch of these so that's Q. So if you are somebody who's looking to brute force a login page, well, this is a pretty handy tool. So that would be all for today. A short video. Uh, hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like and do comment down below any suggestions that you would like to see. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.